many of you folks don't know me because it's been a while since I've been here. Um, I moved here from Onsiora in 1989. <clears throat> Met my wife, had four kids, and then we moved to Cleveland. Uh, and I've been there for 13 years or so. Um, but uh, I came back here at the invitation of friends old and new. Uh, after a contingent of you fine folk led by His Majesty invaded our Bardic Madness <laughs> a few months ago. <clears throat> and uh, so I would like to recall to mind an old and dear friend, Sir Angus Oldham, untimely taken from us these many years ago. The king had need of a carpenter to repair his castle gate. It had grown rusty upon the hinge for lack of use of late. His royal carpenter had no time to make it smoothly swing. Find for me a woodsmith, was the order of the king. The king had need of a noble knight to grace his tourney field. A man at arms, both strong and skilled, well versed in sword and shield. A noble lady of his house had made an earnest plea. Find for me a noble knight that he might fight for me. The king had need of a warlord to train his troops for war. A man of wisdom, strong and skilled, well versed in battle war. His royal guard, though great in skill, had shown the king their need. Find for me a warlord and bring him at great speed. The king sent out his heralds all with trumpets of pure gold to seek throughout the whole wide land the knight both brave and bold. <clears throat> as well they sought a warlord as they sped on golden wing and also for a woodsmith at the order of the king. One traveler had stopped to rest after many a weary mile when a man in green came ambling up and smiled a crooked smile. Why do you look so out of sorts on a day so rare and fine? You look thirsty, my good man. Here, have some wine. <laughs> the herald thanked him for his wine and told him of his quest to find a woodsmith and a knight and warlord and the rest. And the man took on a thoughtful look as he pondered on this thing. I am the man you seek, he said, and I am summoned by my king. But who will tell my comrades that I away must ride? And who will tell my family? And who will tell my bride? The herald took him by the arm with gentleness sublime. The king will care for them, he said. They'll join you in their time. And fast as thought, the pair they flew back to the castle hall. Your servant, Lord, the herald cried. Has answered well your call, has answered well your call. Are you a woodsmith? asked the king. Or are you made for war? Both, my lord, the man replied. I like him well so far. <laughs> <coughs> Take him to the castle gate while banners we unfurl. He's proved his skill at oak and pine. He'll do as well with pearl. Then bring him to the list field and declare a tournament and let him fight for Aislinn, who watches from her tent. Then bring him to the armory and give him sword and spear. Then let him review the royal troops, for his skill is very dear. Then feed him many waffle cakes, <laughs> for I know this man well. A week to train his troops, and then he'll lead the charge on hell. Michigus 